All right, my name is Dave Ratt, and I like to collect uh, old things, I guess, and new things, audio, anything, um, pro audio, consumer audio, anything unusual and cool. And today, I just received a um, <clears throat> new toy from eBay. This is a um, wire recorder. It's in a cool little case, and I'm going to open it up and test it out. All right, so let's see what we got here. This is uh, West Webster, Chicago, um, Model 80 wire recorder, and what it does is it records audio on these um, spools of wire. There's a, a thin metallic magnetic wire on these spools, and it's the predecessor to the tape recorder. Um, and you load the spool right in here and thread the wire around this other spool here and fire it up. And I noticed that when it came in, it was, it has an issue. The AC power plug is recessed back into the, um, it's broken off in there. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, now we gotta lift this thing out of here. Probably the easiest way to do it is flip it over and pull the back off. All right. Grab a rag over here, dust it off. All right, so it's a tube unit. A lot of dust and dirt in here. Um, I've got, um, I don't have the Edison recorder yet. I want to get one of the Edison spool uh, records on the um, cylinders. Obviously got ret uh, turntables, eight track cassette, reel to reel. I've got a reel to reel recorder I'm working on over here. This Pioneer, that's um, various state of disrepair. All right, so take a look at this connector. You know, can see that it's not mounted very well. It's broken off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some um, adhesive around here. And I think the bake light is broken. We'll put some adhesive and we'll hope this holds. It doesn't. Um, and it won't last. We'll see how this works. It's clear. Adhesive is a gasket sealer and it's non damaging. So, if I want to um, clean it up and put a um, do a different repair, I can peel it all off. So, this should hold it well enough for me to um, make the unit usable. All right, but in the meantime, we're not going to wait for that to dry because we want to fire this thing up. And most importantly, we want to see what's on these wire reels that came with it. This thing's from the, the 40s. I think this one is probably mid to late 40s, 48, I think, if my memory serves. All right, so we find the power cord. Let's see what's in here. And there she is. And this is um, not going to meet UL standards of the day. Uh, we'll take a look and make sure there's no shorts. A little bit of exposed wire there, but it's been taped up by some um, creative person that's doing about as good a job with it as I did with the adhesive on the thing. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any shorts on that side. Now let's follow it through. 
and see what we got. And yeah, these plugs are no longer legal, but um, this. so first thing we'll do is test the cord and make sure it doesn't spark or blow up. Cord's good, or not necessarily good, but not bad in the explosive way. Next, we'll plug this thing in. We'll unplug that side. So you got to support the back and touch the live wi the electrical wires. Okay, so that's plugged in. I'm going to glue that plug there. And let's fire this thing up. Ooh, it's on. Let's turn it off. All right, that's a good sign. Hear it. The motor running, a little light still works in there. Three outputs, an input connector, an output there, and a speaker. I didn't see an output on the back. Came with a microphone. It's kind of cool. With an um, unusual connector plugged into here, the input. All right, let's see what these wires sound like. Um, how about this guy in the middle here? I'm going to find the end. Set this thing in the... And there's a recording head or a playback head inside of this Bakelite thing. A little hook here and... Pull the wire tight and hook it into that little bit right there. Turn that, make sure it turns. And don't let that keep going out so it'll do what a fishing line does when you mess up. Let's hit run. Ooh, look at that. All right, turn it up. Well, I heard a little music. Well, isn't that creepy? <laughs> or cute? Hello, Dad. Oh, it looks like they've recorded over some cool recordings with uh, voices here, unfortunately. I had about enough of that. Let's try a different one. Let's stop. Rewind. Oh. All right. And stop. Now let's try a different one, see what's on this guy. There was different lengths. This one looks like it's been knotted. That's going to be a, ta oh yeah, there's a knot in there. This one's going to be a task beyond what I have the time to do now. Let's try one of these. One thing I noticed when it was rewinding is that um, the playback head and record head is supposed to move up and down. It didn't seem to be doing it quite um, correctly. And also what I'm seeing is see how that kept spinning there and tries to knot up the wire. There's supposed to be a break on there, I'm guessing. And I put in one of the one of the ones that uh, looks like it could have been used. So let's go ahead and check that out.
got um, kind of what sounds like Disneyland music on there. No idea who it is. Um, oh wait, maybe um, maybe I can Shazam this. Let's see. Odds are probably against it, but you never know. Uh oh, <laughs> got some people. Oh, we do know who it is. It's um, Dinah Shore, two silhouettes. Um, cool. And we've got some other adventures here. Some clip leads here, and what I'm going to do very carefully without shocking myself, I'm going to tilt this up on its side. Uh oh, it doesn't sound good. And I'm going to find this output here, is here, and here. And it doesn't smell very good either. It smells very old. Now with those clip leads, let's find a speaker. Now let's put it onto here and see if um, the modern speaker sounds like. There's no cabinet to it. So it um, well, let's try a different output. And go ahead and hit play. All right, that didn't help much. Okay, plan B. Let's try this. Let's pause this. And up here I've got my Crown DC-150 amplifier. Let's turn that down. Oh, make sure it's plugged in. Which it's not. Boom. And let's grab our quick leads here. And the boom. Yeah, I kind of like everything a little bit of chaotic mess. And let's take this and this, clip it onto here and here. Ooh, wait a minute, we've got a, we've got a two to one right here. We do this and clip this onto here and here. Now we should have some amplification on this. And I'll turn down the volume and turn the amp on. That's definitely working. 
Let's see if reversing this um, helps any. Which it does. And let's go ahead and hit play. Oh, we're going to turn the other output on. Uh, I got my amp going into some old Bose 901 Series 2, hanging from the ceiling up there. Now I want to know what I have to say. Yes, sir, this is to let you know that I'm receiving of your letter of the 20th instance, for which I thank you. I wonder if my voice will sound as it does to my ears. All right. Well, I think that's enough. Thank you for joining me on my um, maiden voyage for this um, wire recorder. I'm going to maybe uh, work on a little bit, change the tube, and get it cleaned up, and add it to my collection of cool old audio stuff. All right.